Hey everyone, Jamie Phillips Reaction Auto Parts and my right hand dog, Axel Foley Phillips. Axel, get out of the way. Anyway, last night I got this one in. It was about 9.30, quarter minutes, to, a quarter to 10. Uh, so I done just a little quickie uh, since it was on the rollback and dark, but I uh, wanted to kind of do one in the daylight. I love these old square bodies. I've got a few. A couple I'd like to keep my, for myself, and then got several I've been parting out and what have you. But uh, it's got an extra bench seat up in the bed besides the one that's in it. I'd sold all the seats that I had a little while back, and uh, Axel's about making this impossible. Crystal's trying to walk him, and he keeps getting under my feet. But uh, looks like a pretty good tailgate. Got to get it cleaned out, hopefully tomorrow. But uh, I love, love, love the original color on this truck. That, that baby blue uh, was just a really, really good color back in the day. I had a former boss, which was more almost like a daddy to me. He had a 77 that was this same color blue. And uh, it was just a good looking truck. But uh, three speed on the column. And I think it's got a six cylinder in it. That's a pretty good looking set of wheels on it. And the tires, it's pretty deep treaded on it. So uh, let's see if I can pop the hood with one hand. <clears throat> Y'all hang on a minute. There we go. There's the old six banger. So only one out of all the square bodies that I've got that's got the six cylinder in it. So that'd be good if somebody's needing some six cylinder parts. The guy that owned it said that the starter went out on it and the U-joint, and the U-joint was so bad that the dry shaft actually just fell out of it. Will I put a starter on it just to see probably maybe not i don't know uh <clears throat> i got the title and stuff to it but we might see if it how it runs or whatever but uh for right now i'm probably just going to part it out uh the hood that's so bad a design the hood done got crimped and i hate that other than that it was in pretty decent shape so anyway that's it, got it in late last night, and uh, it's a 77, but uh, got pretty good doors. And about all the rest of mine has the sliding back glass. I just noticed this one don't. So anyway, uh, good set of tars, wheels, good tailgate, and what have you. Gotta get back out here and mow tomorrow. Man, we had a heck of a storm, and so, it's supposed to really get nice this week, so I gotta hurry up and get the mowing caught up. Uh, we had to yank that forward there out of the way. Saturday, in the rain, a guy come and got the rear end out of the one we call the monster truck, sitting back over there. <clears throat> so, uh, big three quarter ton, eight lug rear end. So we got it out and got him loaded. So we had to move the Cleveland Browns van and this truck out of the way so he could back his trailer in and uh, and get that loaded up so even though we kind of moved a bunch it's kind of getting a little bit clustered back up which the little uh, kia soul it runs we drove jj drove it over out of the way but uh yeah i've got to try to keep this open and of course the titles where i bought the two monte carlos if you look back in my videos about that 76 and then that red 76 and uh little plymouth reliant and that white el dorado sitting over in the field bought them all on the same day transferred them on the same day but the title for the cadillac and the red monte carlo came in uh, friday but saturday i didn't get the other ones that one sold so i need to get the title back on it so i can get that deal closed out since i got the title on the red one uh, I'll be doing a few things to it and probably putting it on the market soon. But uh, I'm going to wrap this up. It's heading toward five minutes. But me and the wife and Axel <clears throat> uh, wanted to come out to the farm. There they are down there at the gate. She's walking him around. 
Uh, but I appreciate uh, the followers, the subscribers that I've got thus far. And I appreciate all of them that y'all view. So uh, please, I ask that you would continue to do so. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. And uh, uh, don't forget about my good friends, Beamer and Son Garage up in Bethel, Ohio. And I got another one I want to throw a little shout out to. Uh, they're, they're just up and coming. I don't know if they got to 100 subscribers yet, which I know, man, I've, I've been stuck on 337 for a week or better. And it's kind of getting frustrated, but you know, it is what it is, but uh, check out Minnesota is Rust. Minnesota is Rust. And it's a father and son. They got some pretty cool little cars. They're starting to do some videos, so uh, uh, they don't even know I'm doing this unless they watch it. But check them out. Give them some support as well. I would appreciate more subscribers if you can help me out. And uh, I hope you have a blessed Mother's Day. This is my first one without my mom here on earth. And it's been kind of a melancholy, blase, a little bit of a day. But I know she's in a much better place. So I have to look look at that for some strength and comfort from it. But uh, y'all have a great one, and I'll catch you in the next one.